In 2017, my wife Kate and I stepped on this beach for the very first time and it put wheels in motion that we were not prepared for. Within a year, we had sold almost everything we owned, packed up our entire family of five and started moving south here 1200 miles to the greater Tampa Bay area. And I gotta be honest with y'all, we have been loving it ever since. I mean, how hard is it to love life when you wake up and this is your backyard? I am excited today to share this coastal town with you because most people don't know about it. They know about all the beautiful beaches we have in the area. They heard the big names like Clearwater Beach and St. Pete Beach, but what they don't know is this little hidden gem off the Gulf Coast of Mexico on a two lane road that provides one of the most incredible lifestyles that you can ever ask for here on the Gulf Coast. Welcome to Indian Rocks Beach. So today I'm gonna to take you around town. It is not a big area. We don't even have a public parking structure, which is awesome, and we'll get into that later. But you're gonna check out the Narrows. I'm gonna take you over to the public beach access. I'm gonna show you my little honey holes of where to park when you come to the area. Don't tell anyone. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna get me in trouble with the locals. And I'm gonna share with you why we fell in love with this community. Now, for some people, they want the hustle and bustle. They love busy, they want tourists, they want action and activity. And you can go to Clearwater Beach, which is just about seven miles north of us here or you can go down to St. Pete Beach lots of things to do like that but for others like myself and Kate and our family we love to just come to this beach and chill out I mean it is a Wednesday morning and as you can see behind me there are very few people down here right we're all doing the same thing soaking up the early morning sun getting that salty air in our lungs right feeling the sand between our toes and just loving what Florida has to offer before the end of the day it's gonna be about 85 degrees people will be down here soaking it up swimming out in the bay here and just loving their life too and I'm so excited to share this with you because um, one of the things we get to do through this channel is share our experiences and there are a lot of people who reach out to us about moving here to the Tampa Bay area and most of the time this is the thing that draws them in and if we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay, what it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. And today, like I said, I'm so excited to share with you this beautiful Gulf Coast community. I know you're gonna love it. If you have any questions about relocating the area here, don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team. All of my contact information is listed down below. Heck, there's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that's most convenient for you. Now let's go check out everything Indian Rocks Beach has to offer. First thing I wanna do is share our location. So Indian Rocks Beach, if you're not aware, is the furthest western point of Florida until you start getting into the bend of the panhandle on the Gulf side. We are west central Florida, teetering into that southwest area, but I would consider us west central. Now, we are part of the greater Tampa Bay area, which you probably know as the city of Tampa, also Clearwater and St. Petersburg. That's kind of that triangle there, but that makes up the greater Tampa Bay area. It's much larger than that, but that's what most people know. Now, Indian Rocks Beach is located just south of Clearwater and Bel Air Beach. This is a great little area, about two miles of beautiful white sugar sand beaches, a little bit of intercoastal waterway, great real estate, and one heck of a place to call home. So I wanted to share that with you today just so you can understand a little bit about where we're located and why this area is so popular. Now, I would consider Indian Rocks Beach a beach bum paradise if you are on the west coast of Florida. Um, it is one of those, I wanna call it sleepy little coastal town. Those don't really exist anymore. Everybody knows about us, but I will say this, we're a two lane road on the Gulf Coast of Mexico and that is not easy to come by. When you get up into Clearwater, there's a roundabout four lane Lanes, pedestrian walkways in between is very busy. And as you travel south uh, through Bel Air and Indian Rocks Beach down into Indian Shores, it's only two lanes before it widens back out to four lanes again. And again, another pedestrian walkway and gets a lot busier as you head down to St. Pete Beach. So for me, this is a beach bone paradise. This is why we moved here. Um, the other towns in, in cities feel really, really busy to us personally. Now, I know this isn't like the sleepy little, um, you know, place that you would write in a journal that no one knows about. That's just not how it works in Florida. But for us, it is incredibly 
um, laid back. It, what I call it is the flip-flop lifestyle, and it really is that. We don't even have a public parking structure um, in our little beach community here. And with two miles and 26 public accesses, there's a lot of ways to get into the beach, but there aren't a whole lot of places to park. There's enough if you live here and you're local, especially if you know when to go to the beach, um, stay away from those peak times, but also, it's not difficult to get to. We're about 1.93 miles from my door to toes in the stand. How do I know that? Because we run down there. My wife loves to run the beach in the morning. Uh, that is part of Kate's recharge program. She goes down, gets that salty air in her lungs, gets the sun on her skin. You know, she'll usually get a little color, sun kissed, if you will. And then she comes back and she's got a nice sweat on, jumps in the pool. And this has been a huge part of our life. When we moved here, Kate gave me some very specific requirements. She says, I need to be within 15 minutes of the water, the Gulf of Mexico that is, we need to have a pool um, and we need to have four bedrooms for our family to come visit. And y'all, they visit, let me tell you, they come down. And do I believe that we are extremely blessed for where we live? Absolutely. Do I, do I know that that's not a, a reality for everyone? Sure. But when we moved down here, Tampa was a hidden secret that most people didn't know about. And uh, the home values in Tampa at that point were under the national average, which is awesome, especially for a coastal town. That's unheard of. And it's treated as very well since but this is a reason why it all kind of feels like that sleepy little beach bum kind of town you know we've got a grocery store there's a cvs downtown there's all the bars and restaurants you'll need but this town is amazing you're gonna love it now, if you're active, you're gonna love living in Indian Rocks Beach and the surrounding areas. First and foremost, you can go walk or run on the beach or just hang out. That's the first thing you can do. You can go uh, paddleboard down there. The Gulf of Mexico, it does have its days where it can get a little bit choppy out there, but there are a lot of days that that water is very calm and you can paddleboard out in the Gulf of Mexico, which is incredible. You can kayak, you can jet ski. Um, when the waves do kick up a little bit, you can boogie board. Um, you can obviously go snorkeling. You can go scuba diving. There's so many things things to do out there, jet skiing, boating, parasailing. I mean, we can go through the list forever, but the town has rentals also, so you can grab those items and just walk right across the street to the, to the public beach access and go take advantage of everything it has to offer. When you're in town specifically, there are dedicated bike paths on Gulf Boulevard. There are walking paths for you as well. There are great sidewalks too. You do have the nature preserve, so there's a great place to go walk around and check out. It butts right up to the intercoastal waterway. You're you're surrounded by vegetation. You can go out there and see manatees. It's pretty cool. Um, if you're down at Keegan Park, that gives you a, a sand beach volleyball court, which is awesome as well. That connects right to the intercoastal waterway. You could probably go see some manatees. We were down with the kids the other night at a restaurant called Caddy's, which is actually in Indian Shores. They're just south of Indian Rocks Beach. And we are out on the patio. And of course, dolphins come swimming by. The kids lost their mind. We've been here for five years. We still get excited about that stuff. Kate got out of her chair and went running over there with the kids, which cracked me up. You know, we're, we're here, we get this experience, but it never gets old. So it's a huge part of why we love living here. If you're active, you're going to have a great, great experience living in Indian Rocks Beach. Now, if you're considering moving to the area, don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team. As I said before, I'm a licensed real estate agent. All of my contact information is listed down below. If you have any questions about Indian Rocks Beach or anywhere else in the area, don't hesitate to reach out. Now, another thing you probably are gonna love is all of the different dining options you have here. We have everything from Mexican to, of course, you know, the standard uh, beach bar with a, you know, a nice greasy burger that you're absolutely gonna love and everything in between. You know, there's so many different options here. Obviously, we have great great locally caught seafood. We have the Stone Crab Festival every year. The Taste of IRB is coming. We've got, you know, a staple no known as Caddy's. Uh, that is one of the most popular restaurants in, in all of Florida for them, for a matter of fact. One of the most popular restaurant choices we have here on the beach is Krabby Bills. We have the original Krabby Bills here in Indian Rocks Beach. And this restaurant, especially during peak times, is lined up out the door. People are waiting to get inside. They got great seafood, crab. Uh, you can get a crawfish boil. There's all kinds of stuff in there. They got everything, man. Um, if you want seafood, that's a great place to go. They also serve breakfast and they have a great outdoor space where they feature a band. Uh, they've got a bar outdoors. And if you're thinking like laid back coastal town, 
have a couple cocktails. You can see the water in front of you. This is the spot. It's great. Now, it's not right on the Gulf Coast of Mexico. It is directly across the street. They are in the process of building some condos over there right now, so vi your visibility is a little bit limited, but you literally can walk out of the restaurant, go right across the street to the public access, and then go just watch a sunset. It's incredible. You'll have a great time. But that's just one of the restaurants. You've got Guilty C. You've got JD's, where that seems to be where our our seniors love to go party. They're, they they have live music there, but there's a, a back porch where everybody kind of hangs out. That restaurant is always busy. Like I said, Guilty C. You've got Slice, which is our favorite pizzeria in town. Anecdote Brewing Company, which is my favorite brewery in the entire um, Tampa Bay area. Of course, they're local, but I love them. The owner, Philip, is a great guy. They do a good job. Um, their IRB IPA is excellent if you've never had that before. If you really want some um, other choices, there's Keegan's, there's Groupers, uh, Guppies, which we've spoke about many times. That was one of the first restaurants that we fell in love with in the area. Kate and I will go there for a date night or a date day. It's right across from the Indian Rocks Beach Public Access. Um, just a beautiful place to go grab dinner. Uh, beach Wave Grills is awesome. Um, Cafe de Paris is fantastic. They got great breakfast over there. You'll love that too. And then stop by the Kooky Coconut for um, handmade ice cream and little secret they have a pretty decent Cuban over there and decent's unfair. It's a good Cuban, especially for being on the beach and not in some fancy place where um, they're really trying to do it at, to the nines, if you will. They do an excellent job and there's usually a line there for ice cream too. You can get ice cream and literally walk out their back door and you're standing on the Gulf of Mexico. It's awesome. Lots and lots of food options. Um, many more than that. There's Chicago Jacks for pizza. I said slice as well. Y'all, there's so many I can't name them all, but I just figured I'd share with the ones that we love. If you're wondering what your housing options are in Indian Rocks Beach, this is where things definitely start to take a coastal feel. And what I mean by that is, if you're gonna buy homes on the Gulf Coast, especially anywhere near the water, it is not going to be cheap. And Indian Rocks is a reflection of that. Now. It is cheaper than Bel Air Beach, which is right next door in Bel Air Shores. <laughs> Their average price point for a single family home is over two and a half million dollars. Indian Rocks is not quite that, but it is definitely not cheap. At the time of this recording, over the last 30 days, the average home that sold was about 1,850 square feet. It was a three bedroom, two bath home, and it sold for over $1.6 million. The average condominium in Indian Rocks Beach is a two bedroom, two bath, just over 1,200 square foot, and that sold for $829,000. Beach rentals are all over the place. I hate to even quote anything, you know, because people will lease a bedroom and they'll also lease a four bedroom unit, you know, well into the four, five, six thousand dollar range every single month. It can get very expensive depending on the real estate. You know, there was a home that recently just sold over $11 million. So you can spend as much money as you want here. And there's a condo project right across the street from Krabby Bills that's in the process of being built. It's going to have eight units, anywhere between three and five bedrooms, and they are starting from six million dollars so as you can see people are still continuing to invest here in the Indian Rocks Beach area the entire Tampa Bay market especially on the luxury side is really starting to take off as a matter of fact one of the hottest luxury markets in the entire United States right now so it is something to behold if people can get land and develop it they are they are not stopping Indian Rocks Beach has been on fire all right so one of the things I love is how easy it is to get over to the beach and I park right behind the ice cream shop here it's about seven minutes from my house which is freaking awesome um, and then you're able to just pop over the crosswalk nice and easy and then we're only just seconds away from the beach here and I've made this walk so many times y'all and this is a huge part of the reason that my family chose to move to this area right when I said that you know the the tiny little beach town that stole our heart this was it my wife and I flew down you know originally we thought we were gonna live in Dunedin we actually wrote offers on properties there and didn't get them accepted um, and I honestly think that was the the Lord putting us where we belonged because that's just the way that life works right um, but ultimately you know we fell in love with Indian Rocks Beach we came down here just on a whim and uh, as soon as we stepped foot on this beach, it was just like, bang, our life was changed. We knew we wanted to be here. You know, it's a two lane road, laid back little coastal community. And it is such a blessing to be able to come down here every night. 
and watch the sunset i can't wait to share it with you guys and uh, my hope is that uh, you find your coastal community if you are looking to buy sell or relocate to the area don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team would love to be your realtor of choice if you have any questions at all don't hesitate all of my contact information is listed down below after that youtube's going to put up two videos right up here and right up here that it thinks you're going to love but check out the sunset y'all and as always go out and live that tampa life